We stand united on one cause. Firefighters, fire officers, EMS, fire dispatchers, others, affinity groups of the FTNY, sanitation, DSNY, NYPD, my brothers and sisters, we, one common cause to stand for freedom to choose. The ability to choose, give me a second, I'll be done. In the, the ability to choose is our God-given right, our free will, the right to choose for ourselves, our families, our loved ones. This is our bodies, not yours. Let's go. I am being escorted out of Kaiser Permanente Hospital for um, my religious beliefs because I don't want to get the jab. And um, I asked all day for someone to explain to me why my sincerely held religious beliefs are not good enough for Kaiser. And no one was able to do that for me. Bye. So now they're escorting me out because I wanted an answer and I'm not leaving without an answer. And I have some nurses here who are standing with me in solidarity and I appreciate that. And I just want all of you to count the cost. I want you to watch this and think what really matters to me because I am willing to lose my safety and security, my house, everything for my freedom. Australian health regulating body of GPs actually sent an, a letter to all GPs and in that letter they were very very explicit explicit in their directions to GPs by saying that you are in no way able to interfere with the rollout of the federal government and that even includes discussions on social media about potential options and if you are caught um, interfering with the national rollout of the program, we reserve the right to conduct an investigation in, into your behaviour, into your actions, and potentially have you deregistered as a GP. So here we are. We now have doctors who have trained themselves for many, many years to be able to, to give the best health advice to their patients with the patient's health in mind, now having resting over their head, this heavy bureaucracy saying, if you interfere in any way with the rollout of the program, we're gonna investigate you. That's essentially what they're saying. So here it is, we, I've actually heard from doctors who are terrified of actually following their, their gut and following their, their training to give a medical exemption to someone who they know needs it because of the, the bureaucracy that's resting over their own head. Now, no one can tell me that that is an appropriate level of bureaucracy, particularly when it refers to a person's health, because a doctor should be free from any form of leverage or any form of pressure to operate fully in their professional skilled area.